Well, hey there, no coder. This video is about learning how to make a small sticky bar at the bottom of a mobile device that you can put onto your app. So in our last video, we saw the ability to create one of these little sticky bubbles for chat. In this one, we're going to make a whole sticky bar. So let's dive right in to do that. We're going to jump into our bubble editor and we're just going to delete out this floating group that we had created before and we're going to create a new one. So in your bubble editor under the design tab under containers and floating group, navigate there and just drop in a floating group. What we're going to do in order to have it stick to the bottom, we're going to check out the height of this whole panel, uh, our main screen here in our bubble editor, which is a height of 1220. So that means, let's say we want this to be a height of 70. If we did, which we do, <laughs> we're going to say that this should sit at 1150. So 1150 plus 70, that equals 1220. And one setting to always be aware of with these vertically or with these floating groups is vertically float relative to what? Do you want to have it a sticky menu at the top, like some kind of nav bar that sticks, sticks there as you scroll down or some search bar perhaps, um, or do you want it at the bottom? So we'll set it here to the bottom. Floating relative to the left is fine because what we're going to do is we're going to drag it over to the edge here and drag it here and then center horizontally. And we're going to not make it fixed width and everything there looks good then. We'll remove the styling so we can get some background color to this so we can see it when, when it's on the page. So let's say that that's good enough there. Nothing else really here to do for the styling. Okay, with that set up, all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, I'm actually going to grab these pieces of text and why not just utilize them here. Um, and we lost it. We lost them. Uh, what we got to do is we got to shrink it down. And you know what? I'm going to shrink it down before I put it into place. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. And then, okay. So now we can see that the floating group, the, it is outlined in red, which means I know I'm dropping it into that floating group, which means on the left-hand panel here under elements trees, we can see that hierarchic, hierarchically, which means the hierarchy of this thing under floating group A, we now have this text one. And I'm going to just take this thing and put send it back for that group. And that will help us out a lot. Okay, so maybe we want to have this text slightly smaller though. Maybe we want to say 40. I'm not sure. Uh, well, and so we'll say height 40 for this. Now let's say 50 because we, we have 70. That means we have 10 up, up top and down bottom. So 50 by 50. And we'll just say center vertically. And then that looks pretty good. All right, so what I'm, on, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take these out and I'm going to call this uh, menu button one. and then call this one menu button two. I don't know about the exact placement of these just yet. We're just kind of roughing this in and getting the look and feel that we would want to have for this floaty sticky bar. And then we'll have this bar take, make some, have some actions take place when these are clicked. So one, two, three, four, if we look at this, uh, let's see, I want to say, say I want to have that at 20. And I want to have this one, the edge of it at 20. So that looks pretty good. 30 between those, 30 between those, and 20 between those. That means this one could come over by five. So I'm just doing a quick little bit of cleanup. 25, 25, 25, and 30. So that means perhaps we'll go like there and then give this one I don't know, something like that. So we got 23, 29. Good, good enough. Okay, so then on our live page, we're going to refresh that and take a look at what we got. Okay, so we can see there, because this has the direct, directives of uh, being in those particular pixels and stuck to the bottom here on this vertically float relative to the bottom, now what we want to do is we want to have something happen with these clicked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at these scroll positions. So this, this one starts at uh, 20. This one starts at 320, 620, and 920. Okay, that should be pretty easy to remember. And we want to bring this to front again. Okay, so when this is hit, what I want to do is I want to do navigation. No, sorry, element actions. I want to scroll to on this page. We're just going to go to zero, actually, for one. And then what I'm going to do here is do the same thing for all of these. So element actions, scroll to. And I think it was like 320. 
but that was 320 and I want to give a 20 I want to give a 20 pixel um, bit of breathing room so I'm going to try this out first and see that we got this working before doing the last two okay so that brings us all the way there that brings us there clicking three four doesn't do anything just yet and notice that we can also just copy one of these and then change this to menu button three and then just utilize that like that uh, whoops some of those chat ones from the previous video and we're getting so close okay so we missed the what is the pixel so 620 for the y value 600 okay so hmm well not too concerned about that we'll we'll get it figured out and then we'll do another copy paste control c control v put that at button four and then say 920 and this is the conclusion of our video that here we can see we can scroll ah uh, you know what okay that is it's it, we can't scroll because it's already to the very very bottom on both of these but so if we're here we go four or if we're here and we go three it just puts all of them into view and one of the things that i suppose i would like to do actually is i want to because this has a height of 70 to make this clean how we would do that is go with 1220 and that would actually give us a much nicer uh, view because we took up some space with this bar so for here here okay and then that would we would want that at 600 these parts are not important we have nailed the whole part of the video but I love showing off really good uh, design work and just look and feel of things so that when you're building in bubble you can kind of imitate that and get something set up similar to uh, what you see here so Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like or subscribe, and I'll see you in another video.